Rivals has arrived, and we have a special guest with us, Alex Keery, who is a co-host of the Nightside Project as well as Cougar Sports Saturday That's on right. KSL. Welcome, uh, Alex. Thank Glad you. to have you here. Scott. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big day today. we got a big day. Uh, a lot of pretty crazy announcements are happening on Rivals. So uh, I guess we'll just get right into it. Yeah, should we start? Well, I, love let's, the, I love that you're wearing blue for this, by the way, well, this I, announcement. It, well, I think it's rather fitting in that I have the blue shirt on, you have the red shirt on. This is pink, all right? I chose yeah. pink. Well, you chose pink because uh, it, it's what he washed in the washer. It used to be white. <laughs> What's white? There's like a, red, a lot of red socks in His there. His wife was gone for a week, and, uh, and everything he has now is salmon-colored. Uh, there's a, I, I love that, uh, first of all, you asked me to come on, Rivals, because this is normally, I like usually watch you and Jason like from through, the, through the window. Through the window, and I'm yeah. like, oh, man. I wonder what they're talking what about. Are they, what are they saying? What are the <laughs> secrets are they sharing? You can actually listen and find out. You, you can do that, actually. That yeah. Sharing, so. yeah, and uh, we'll tell you how to do that at the end. So, uh, big announcement. We're going to get right to it. Anyways, the difference in the, our shirts here is uh, I have been asked and have, I have accepted to be the color analyst for all of the Utah football games on the radio. So you can hear me two hours before during the, the broadcast of all Utah football games and two hours after. So if you have a question, Alex, call into the post game show and I'll be, I'll be happy to answer your questions. <laughs> I will. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I think there's even a pregame. Uh, I think you can call in a pregame. I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> I, so, I, I will tell you, having done the, the game day broadcasts on the BYU side of things, as the in-studio host, it's it's a. Are you ready for these long days? Uh, are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, let, let me explain to you long days. As a player, I understood long days. So this. I get it. And don't don't give me this. Oh, the media is different and all that stuff. No, no, I, I understand. I'm, just saying what I'm actually is, super excited about it because I, I'm because I get to go to all of the games. That's gonna be awesome. I get That's every, the best every, thing. every 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 game. That's home the best away, thing. And I actually get to watch it and, and have an insight into everything that's going on, get to interview players and coaches, yes. and give my insight, my view to football. Because I, I right now am that fan who has a brick that's going to throw it at the TV, uh -oh. and now I actually get to speak publicly about some of my frustrations. And I do have frustrations. So you'll be working uh, with Bill Riley then? Yes. He's doing. He's making the calls. So he's, yes. And then you're doing the color. And I'm the color. Have you guys already, like, sat down and uh, and he's like, here's where I talk, and then here's where you talk? I mean, how's that work? Because I've listened to color commentators for years on broadcasts, and I'm like, I, there are some color commentators for me. Like, do you have some that are really amazing to listen to on TV or radio? So there are some that I like. Who? And there are some that I don't like, but I, it, it goes the other way. And so okay. it, it's that... So the the voice, right? The commentator is he's talking about, you know, it's second down and, and setting everything up. The color guy adds all of the like insight and and all of the different things that you might talk about as for example like why did they do that or what what kind of strategy or where, you know, what should they do coming out of this situation and give give insight and color to what's actually happening. I always appreciate when the color commentator I, I like I like Chris Collinsworth a ton. On NBC TV because he'll uh, he 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 gives like an insight where you'll see something that'll be happening on TV and I feel like he sees the things that I do where he'll look a little bit deeper and I know that's what your skill is too where you're like okay I see things a little bit differently but like it's a 58 yard pickup and you'll go that thing's coming back look at this right here you had the left tackle holding right, right. here that there's laundry on the on well, the, there's, on the turf there's, and you'll see all that yeah. and I love I love when when the color commentators will go. The reason this happened is because that tight end made that first initial move, and he and he came up that seam, and he was dead wide open. You weren't—I mean, all it took. My grandma could have thrown that pass, you know, to him. I love—I love when color commentators can see something that everybody else really didn't get. Right, and and that and that that is part of what I, I think is special about what I bring to to the um, to the broadcast because I've had that experience. I see the game, I, and I can I can actually analyze it and look at it very quickly. Right. Had a lot of experience with this as a player and, and afterwards. You know, I've been broadcasting high school football for the last three years. And I watch. And the thing that gets me frustrated, though, is when people are making a comment and it's not really what's going on. And oh. they're either trying to promote a player or okay. a situation. And it's like, what are you talking about here? That's not really <laughs> what went on. And as a quarterback, what you, you understand all of the positions. You, you have to. And so you can talk intelligently about 
the defensive lineman alignment or his stance or right. or his angle where he went and the same with blocking the same the same with defensive backs and 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 all of the all of the skill positions on offense so so that's kind of an exciting thing that I want to be able to share with people but the other guys that I like to do it well do it where it's it's not this you're not talking a foreign language or you're not talking over people and you can explain it in a way that they go, oh, yeah, I get it. That makes sense. So I, I feel that I have an ability to actually uh, make something that's relatively complicated simple or seem simple or explain it at least in a simple you way. You made that so complicated how you explain that. That was a complicated <laughs> answer to it. Yeah. No, I, I, th there's a reason that you're asked to do it. It's because there's somebody... I think that quarterback mind is a, is a lot different than, than somebody else's. I'm pulling this thing right off the table here. I apologize. All right, so, no, but I, I think that you have that quarterback mind. That's why mind. we kept you outside the door. It's just, <laughs> I didn't know I was leaning on the, the table furniture. so much. It's like some people come over to your house and they just wreck your furniture and that's they eat me. everything out of your fridge. That's me. Uh, no, but I, that's why you're great for this is that quarterback mind. Plus, I you know, it's a traffic issue too, right? It's It's kind of... Dealing with people on the air is, is having to figure out when it's your turn to talk, when it's your time, and when you can really sneak in that, that, that comment that might be not really long-winded, but maybe just, uh, you know, just that burst of something that was a, an amazing insight. Yeah, and I've, had, I've, had, I've worked with people where they're like, I want you to give Im input as the highlight's happening. And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't, and I've had other people, it's like, let me call, make the call, right. and then you give the insight to it and that I like that better but I've had it both ways it's kind of interesting how people have fulfilled that all right we've got more we have more exciting news that you need to hear about so Alex and I are now the co-hosts of a two-hour sports radio show on KSL 1160 and 1027 FM that's right uh, and it starts here in uh, the end of the month yeah a couple a couple of weeks even away and we don't even have an official name for it we just know that it's going to be a lot of things. It's not going to be just BYU, just The no-name sports show. The no-name sports show. Yeah. Could we have found the name right there while Scott well, was here? It's like uh, the no-name defense, I, the no-name sports show. I was told I was supposed to let you come up with the name or at least feel like you came up with the name. So I think we've we've done it. Is that, <laughs> is that what you've been instructed to do? <laughs> Let's Scott feel I actually like, like, like came up with a yeah, name. I don't care about what no. the name is. <laughs> no, I, I had my name that I liked and, and it wasn't... Uh, it appropriate for families? Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't appropriate for a radio show? Sport, sports fans would get it. Yeah, and, well, and they would it. get it. And then my wife would be like, why are you on a show that's named that? Is that what, you're, is that what you want your posterity to know you as? So... Uh, it's going to be a sports show that's about everything. That's the point, right? right? Yeah. Uh, it's not just going to be about Utah or BYU or the Jazz or Utah State or, or uh, you know, just the NFL. It's going to be all of it. It's going to be stuff that interests you and it interests me and it interests, obviously, the person that's listening in. So uh, we have different perspectives on what we've grown up as fans in, uh, participating in, uh, groups that we've followed with all these things. And, um, you know, for me it was I didn't think I was going to have a – a, a 10 year uh, career of following BYU as closely as I have. Um, I went to BYU and I understand that rivalry pretty well. And I, but I love sports, number one. And, and so that's, that's the kind of the, the, the way that this show was created was a need in this market for something other than just one, one note, right? I yeah. do Cougar Sports Saturday. KSL's, you know, been the historic legacy home of BYU sports, and that's been awesome. Um, we're spreading our wings a little bit, though. Well, and, and so we're having this, uh, which will be really fun this year because the Utah-BYU football game is the last game of the season. So we'll be able to go through the season, and I'll have this unique insight to Utah football because I'll be watching every game. I'll, I'll, I'll intimately be studying the team and the, and the opponents, and we'll have a, a unique perspective. And Alec does, Alex does the same thing at BYU. So we're going to get these great perspectives just on these two rivalries, which is fun in and of itself. And this will continue to build through the season, which I think will be a fun thing for us to do. It will but, be interesting to think. But it is not a one-note thing. And I, yeah, I really yeah, yeah. appreciate you said that. And that's what I'm so excited about this show is, is that we have an opportunity to really kind of turn sports on its head. And we're going to give you insight uh, from someone who's had a unique perspective in sports like myself but also have a, 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 a fun and a really creative and entertaining side of it, which is something Alex is just phenomenal at. And, and I actually have somewhat of a personality, so we kind of have, 
We kind of have a little bit we'll of... We'll find out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and, and so we, we have this. It's just, I'm just super excited about the combination of what we bring to the table and what kind of show we're going to have. And, and you did mention the guests because I have some really fun guests that, that just from my side of things, I know Alex does, that are going to come on the show and you're, and you're really not going to want to miss this. Scott's going to burn a lot of family bridges. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, a lot of friends are going to have hurt feelings because he's going to have them come on the sports show. But the idea is to well, be and able they're to get interviewed by Alex. And yeah. It's just going to kill everything. <laughs> they're going to have, they're going to have the, the whole thing is have the opportunity to just add something different. And uh, I think that most people have heard sports radio shows before, and we don't want to be that. We want to be a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more in depth with the coverage of, of things. And I think with you, follow, with you covering the Utes as closely as you will, and me, you know, down at, uh, at all the media availability for BYU, with my, and down at those games on Saturdays as well. So the, and then combine, and then coming together for the show during the week uh, is really good. Plus, yeah. we get along okay. And it's going to be a real rivalry on our show. All right, Rivals has arrived, and now it's time to go. You don't want to miss all these exciting things that are happening, but please text Rivals to 65537. Go to all those social sites and like us. And, of course, you're smart because you're watching our show. Dial us in on your smartphone. Until then, we'll catch you soon.